recently I've been looking at a lot of firewall stuff. It's something that interests me quite a lot. So I've been dealing with um, with PFSense. That's what I've got in my house. That's what I run. But I thought it'd be a good idea to have a quick look at other stuff. I've, I've checked out Open uh, OpenSense. That was okay. A bit different to PFSense. But in this one, I thought I'd have a look at Untangle. So I've got Untangle installed and it, it's time to, to just go through and, and find out what it's all about. So let's do it. Do it. So here we go. It's, it's asking me to, thanks for choosing Untangle, to continue must log in. I don't want to log in. See, th this is one of the annoyances that I have and, and that's that you have to create an account for everything these days. So be it. So let's do that then. So this is Untangle. Oh, wrong keyboard. Okay. Yeah, this annoys me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always down the bottom. Just annoying more than anything else that you have to go through all these stupid hoops just to... Never mind. Okay, so we're signed in. There's no appliances on my account. config about this is um but meant on it i mean seriously where is the config about you can find it by going to config about you also find your uid in the etm dashboard by going to appliances tab yeah but there isn't one there at the moment is there this is not the easiest thing to do is it add appliance Many unbearable hours later. Jeez. Mental. This is, um, <laughs> blimey. You know, I will never use this. This is just way too complicated. Why is it like this? Is this normal? I don't like this already. This is weird, you know. Has it even logged me in? So it has logged me in. It sees the appliance, but sees it as offline. Right? Okay, so it's there. Okay. Create a network. Network name. Oh man, this is weird. You know what? Forget it. It's too... Too weird. How strange is this? I don't think I'll bother with this for a while. Surely things should be a lot easier than this. Shouldn't it? I don't know. This all seems a bit strange to me. Yeah, well, uh, we'll forget about that, I think. It all seems... A little bit too complicated to get up and running. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I really don't. It's uh, it's not something I'm going to... See, surely, if you want more customers, you make things nice and easy, I would say. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But for me, this is just... Yeah, this is... It's just, it's just too much. Way too much. Yeah, we'll forget that. I'll uh, 
maybe I'll look at that another time when I've got a bit more time. But that just seems a bit convoluted. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I'm missing something. I, I Give me some suggestions on what other firewall software I could use. I, I've done OpenSense. I've done PFSense, obviously, uh, which is currently the one that I like using. Let me know in the comments if there's other ones that I can use. In fact, while we're just here, let's have a quick look and, and see what other ones there are without going down the, the paid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sophos Firewall, no, that's paid. Sonic Wall, I think that's dead, isn't it, nowadays? Let's have a quick look. Sonic Guard now, is it? Yeah. Again, it's paid. Maybe... Another day, so get rid of that. Cisco, Glasswire, Palo Alto, Arista. So that's what this is, Untangle. Yeah, forget that. Hmm. Something for another day to look at. <laughs> Not much to this one, I'm afraid. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think uh, and if there's any suggestions. Uh... Don't forget to subscribe and Discord server link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.